Greetings everybody, my name is Captain Jonas Hick and welcome back to another Challenge Rift. Challenge Rift 316 for North America and we have Embodiment of the Marauder, the Demon Hunter. We have the full set and we have FNR which is very good for this particular build. We have an Enforcer because it is the room with the companion so it's somewhat of a pet build. We also have Urinate Teardrop of the Star Weaver. We have the nice here satchel in the queue, which is gonna help us with the hungering arrow damage. We have Hunter Draft, the primary skill that deals 200% increased damage. And Pandemonium Loop, enemy slay while fear, die in a bloody explosion for 800% weapon damage. We have the Bomber Sack Bombardier, which gives us two additional sentries. And they will shoot your multi shot. All right. What I want you to do is get rid of Spike Trap. Just yank it out. You will not use that one. You will not use Spike Trap in this entire run. Like, I did not press it, I did not use it. It's useless in this build and. Other than taking on space, that's all it does. All right. So what I want you to do is when you run up towards mobs or elites, activate your companions, place down your sentries, activate your vengeance, and then swap between your devouring, hungering arrow, devouring arrow, and multi-shot. And you will be a god. All right, without further ado, let's get into the rift. All right, guys, here we go. Challenge rift 316 from North America. So we now put up on an area crater. And what I said is like, put down your sentries and spam your multi shot and then your hungering arrow. So it's like your managing of your hatred is stable. You can use your vengeance. It will boost your damage a little bit. All for the good times. All right, next floor. There's a lot of sands. We find a con. We find a condi here instantly, and then basically we just let most of the condi do its job. Also, beware. You're a very. It's a very squishy build, but it's a very strong one. We make instantly work of this second blue here. Thank God we find the shield. All right, we're in business. All right, keep going down on the left side of the map and you find a yellow there. Your condi should be worked out when you kill that yellow. So that yellow is still going to get hammered by the condi. All right, here we keep going down and then we find another blue pack. Again, put down your sentry, hit your multi shot and it will multiply. Here we find another blue. That's the last blue of this map, but here we find another yellow. Again, I put my sentry down, I spent my multi shot, I spent my hungry arrow, and he dies instantly. Uh, you can see that I'm already way ahead of the time that I already trying to beat. And you guys should have no problem with this one. If you follow this path, you, you're gonna definitely clear it and collect your free items. We don't want free items. I, I'm always up for that. All right, back to the rift. Next floor also doesn't want sands. Keep going straight when you come off the bridge, then go left down when you reach the second stone on the left, on the right. And then you, you just Go to this yellow blue pack here and then make a quick work of them. Put down your sentry, use your vengeance if necessary, and spam that multi shot, and that's it. All right, here we keep going now. Here we find a, a yellow. He doesn't know what's hit him. He, he dies instantly. All right, we are at 95% here, and I was like, damn it, I need to fight one more. Here we find that, that last blue. You saw how. Quickly that evaporated. Alright. 
We spawn the Rift Guardian and we have Binary. All we say to Binary, see you next week, dude. Alright guys, so you just saw me clear the challenge rift. It's pretty easy, it's pretty straightforward. We have two big open maps that are godly. Um, if you follow the path that I take, you will definitely clear it. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Stay healthy, stay hydrated in the heat if you have a heat wave going on. And see you on the next one. Bye bye.